Hi, and welcome back to the Sterling's Global channel. My name is Jay, and I'm one of the account specialists of Sterling's Global, a UK-based accounting firm specializing in e-commerce and traditional businesses. For today, we will discuss when and how to issue VAT invoices in the UK. As a business owner, it's essential to understand your responsibilities regarding VAT or value-added tax. One of the crucial aspects of VAT compliance is issuing VAT invoices to your customers. Whether you're just starting your business or have been running it for years, this video will discuss what you need to stay compliant and keep your customers satisfied. Get ready to become a VAT invoice expert. Keep watching until the end. Types of VAT invoices and the information needed Depending on the type of invoice, the following should be included in every VAT invoice you issue. We created a comprehensive table for you to picture the differences between the three types. Number 1. Full VAT Invoice When you are not sure of what type of invoice to use, you can never go wrong with a full VAT invoice since this is the most common one. Number 2. Simplified VAT Invoice this type of invoice is only allowed for transactions that involve a value of less than £250, including VAT. Number 3. Modified VAT Invoice The modified VAT invoice is essentially the same as the full invoice, but also adds 1. The price per item, which is VAT inclusive, and 2. The total amount payable, including VAT. These two items are not required in the full VAT invoice, but are added to the modified VAT invoice if agreed upon with the client. Now that you know what you need to include in your invoice, let's now discuss when and how to issue a VAT invoice. You can issue a VAT invoice up to 14 days after the goods or services have been delivered. This gives you a bit of leeway if you forget to issue an invoice at the time of the transaction or if your customer requests an invoice at a later date. As to the way of issuance, there are different methods for issuing VAT invoices in the UK, including paper and electronic invoices. But keep in mind that if you issue electronic invoices, you must obtain the recipient's consent to receive them electronically. Additionally, you must ensure that electronic invoices are secure, can't be altered, and are stored in a way that prevents loss or destruction. Cases when you do not need to issue a VAT invoice While generally, it is a legal requirement to issue a VAT invoice for all taxable supplies of goods or services in the UK, there are certain cases when you do not need to issue one. Number 1. Is self-billing arrangements Number 2. Gifts of goods Number 3. VAT second-hand margin schemes Number 4. Exempt or zero-rated sales within the UK Let's also tackle what you should know about international trade in relation to VAT invoices. If you are involved in international trade, you must follow specific rules regarding VAT invoices, especially if you issue them in a foreign currency or language. UK to EU country If you supply goods or services to a customer in another EU country, you may need to register VAT in that country and issue a VAT invoice that meets their requirements. In addition, you may need to complete an EC sales list to declare the value of goods or services supplied to the customers in other EU countries. However, after Brexit, businesses based in Great Britain, England, Scotland, and Wales are not required to charge VAT on services they sell to EU countries. Therefore, VAT invoices consisting of VAT amounts are not required to be issued to such customers. On the other hand, Northern Ireland-based businesses may continue charging VAT similar to the pre-Brexit era since they are still part of the EU regulatory frameworks and may follow the EU VAT rules. How about UK to non-EU country? If you supply goods or services to a customer outside the EU, you won't need to charge VAT on the supply but you may still need to issue an invoice that meets their requirements. Now let's discuss VAT invoice in a foreign language. You are allowed to issue VAT invoices in a foreign language if you choose to do so. This can be useful when dealing with customers who are non-English speakers. 
However, if the HM Revenues and Customs, or HMRC, requires an English translation of the invoice, you must provide it within 30 days of the request. Next one is that invoice in a foreign currency. If your business is based in the UK and sells products to customers in a foreign currency, the VAT amount must be converted into sterling for reporting purposes. The conversion should be based on the exchange rate on the date of the supply of goods or services. You can use the exchange rates published by HMRC or another reliable source. And before we end, we listed some frequently asked questions about how to prepare a VAT invoice. Let's answer them one by one. Number one, can I issue a VAT invoice for sale to a customer outside the EU? No, you cannot issue a VAT invoice for a sale made to a customer outside the EU, as these sales are zero rated for VAT purposes. However, you may need to provide other documentation to comply with the relevant customs and export regulations. Number two, can I issue a VAT invoice for a payment that has not yet been received? Yes, you can still issue a VAT invoice for a payment that has not yet been received, but you will need to account for the VAT in the relevant VAT return period. Number three, should I issue a VAT invoice for sales made through e-commerce? Yes, you are required to issue a VAT invoice for those sales. In addition, it's worth noting that if you sell through third-party e-commerce platforms, they may handle the invoicing process for you. However, it's still your responsibility to ensure that the invoices comply with HMRC requirements. Issuing VAT invoices is an essential part of running a business. It ensures that you comply with HMRC regulations and provides your customers with all the necessary information they need to claim back any VAT they are entitled to. VAT accountants can further guide you on how to prepare a VAT invoice suitable for your business and other VAT requirements you need to comply with. Thank you for watching and reaching until the end. I hope you get a quick grasp of the UK VAT invoices through this video. And for further professional advice on your VAT compliance and other tax aspects, check out the Sterlings Global website at sterlingsglobal.com. If you enjoy these types of content and want to learn more similar topics about accounting and taxation, please like the video and subscribe to our media channels. Again, I am Jay of Sterlings Global and I will see you next time.